The Nevada Attorney General has filed two counts of voter fraud against a Las Vegas man who allegedly voted twice in the 2020 general election, including once in his late wife's name. Donald Kirk Hartle, 55, a registered Republican, stands accused of voting with another person's name and voting more than once in the same election, both of which are felonies. Both charges carry a possible prison term of up to four years, as well as a fine of $5,000. Hartle had previously reported his wife's ballot as missing, but in reality he had returned it himself, the Attorney General said. His wife died in 2017 but remained on the voter rolls. The returned ballot carried a signature that matched the one on record. Hartle's case had stood as a prime example of voter fraud in the state. Kirk was surprised to find his late wife Rosemary, a Republican, cast a ballot in this year's election despite having passed away in 17, the Nevada GOP tweeted last year. The Nevada Secretary of State's office opened an investigation and last week determined that Hartle himself had turned in the ballot. The alleged offenses occurred between October 26 and October 30, 2020, with Hartle using the name Rosemary Hartle in one instance. Voter fraud is rare, but when it happens it undercuts trust in our election system and will not be tolerated by my office said State Attorney General Aaron D. Ford. I want to stress that our office will pursue any credible allegations of voter fraud and will work to bring any offenders to justice. Hartle is scheduled to appear in court on November 18 in Las Vegas Township Justice Court. Hartle is the CFO of the Ahern family of companies, and he looks forward to responding to the allegations in court, the Associated Press reported.